Hello and welcome to Sucker for Love First Date. I made you mischief. Um, I've never played this game before, but I thought it would be fun to try out a new dating thing. Especially since I've played one in a while, like the last one was with my phones. And I wanted to try something different, um, because I really wasn't having that much fun with the Batman game. So, uh, let's see if I go back to my dating sim roots. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. I better wash my face to calm down. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch, spirit, eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Lynetta. Ever since I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing, but as of today, as of today I'll have a genuine Necronomicon. An ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Eldritch Gods. Finally, all. Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be, like, brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something. This looks like it just came over from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. So much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. This camera's probably long gone too. Damn it, I need a new hobby. Seriously. Strange scam though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Do they really think nobody would notice that their book of the dead is Malibu pink? Wait, is this symbol on the front? Embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? Pages look gilt and gold, too. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just a delivery confirmation message. 100%. Real Necronomicon, not clickbait, not scam. Gone sexual, delayed to well, writing tomorrow. What the? My order was delayed? It won't be delivered until tomorrow? Then, what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it deliver to be my accent or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, the inscription at the bottom. It's... It's Relayian. Then the holy language of the Elder Scots. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde. Embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Sure, all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lights. In the dark light, fire red candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. Then when it's when it is complete, chant Lynetta, Off Dart, I, the Gepidus, the 
No great. So I can drag from the first letter to, to into the, the end of the phrase to chant slow. <laughs> Turn off the lights in here or no? I guess not. But it looks much more eerie now. Except that there is the light shining in. Once more. Mortal. Oh God, it actually worked. She's here. Beacon of madness is towering above me, an omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Lanetta the Star Spawn and brought about the end of reality? I can't talk, I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, near Sandy's teetering on the precipice, I'm looking down. No, I finally got this far, I finally have my chance, I can't perish now. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life? No, I want to smooch ya. Eh? What? I want to smooch. Don't say it again, creep! And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Mom, but you just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. They'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is. Where'd you get that book? Huh? What, this? I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Moo? Who's that? Are they one 
Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Or, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. For what? For dating me. What? Really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what did you just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. You'll let me smooch you? If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Yes, I'm. <laughs> Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Fair enough. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, I say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. I've never heard that saying in my life. So the world's going to end either way. Deal. Excellent! Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the depths ritual? where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? No, no, no. Wait, why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Uh, no, not at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. Don't peek. I won't. Mm -hmm. I won't peek. Your 
You're sure you won't? Positive. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy. I'm pretty sure if you looked upon her true form, while she's in the shower, you would fucking die. world. I didn't know you have a house on the water! I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest hurricanes would flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? <sighs> There's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. I hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside? Now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Uh, uh, unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Thank you. 
too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. She's cute. I remember being annoyed about her. Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I worked at and started showering me with gifts. Okay, maybe she is creepy. Never mind. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I can afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Oh god, yes. Oh hell yes. Right this way. M Wait, Lynetta is inside. I got so caught up in the woman, I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? Um, it's... Not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Present that has to be given in private? Oh man, what could it be? <laughs> Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy me are on toast, C can I really not help myself with my life in the line here? Say something, idiot. Uh, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Right, I forgot her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking you so long? I miss you. Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who is that? 
You have company over? That's just the mailman? Inside your apartment? Shoot, I got my lame excuses mixed up. What do you think you're doing? No one slammed the door in my face. No one. Oh man, she's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I can survive What's this. What's going on, darling? Uh, uh, turns out it was one of those, uh, door to door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know. <laughs> Let me in! No! <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> want me to make them go away? I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually they give up. Does she finally give up? Better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Smells delicious, darling. All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love.
already on <laughs> pale as a sheet. Ugh. I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence, and even escaping reality won't protect you. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and and you painlessly myself, as thanks for waking me up. You wouldn't hear their screams anymore, or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last, have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling.
I wish you could make offerings like this forever. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Thank you, my love. Ritual. You did wonderfully. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. That look on your face, darling. I had a wonderful date with you, and that's because of you. So why destroy me? And all of reality. Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think 
I forgot about my promise to you. You're up, my darling. You've earned it. It's gonna be the weirdest kiss. Thanks for playing. Sucker for love. First date. Fun game. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Um, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you're enjoying the series, if you're enjoying the game, what have you, it'd be really swell to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Maybe leave a comment if you're feeling generous. If you're feeling even more generous, maybe recommend it to a friend if you think they'd like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.